Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Denise Poole. We're looking at Maha Samudram, the trailer, and this is starring Shara Wanand, Siddharth Aditi Rao Hyderi. It is written and directed by Ajay Vuhpathi. Try to get the H sound in there. <laughs> Before we go into it, you guys, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. You gon' chase some rabbits, be careful what you find. The truth you seek might just blow right out your back in your mind. No matter where you go. Samudran Chala Gopatma, Chala Rasyalu, Tanno Neda Chonda. It looked like there was a lot of action, so I'm already in. Okay. <laughs> I don't even care what it's about. There was fighting and stuff. I really don't know what it was about. It was very mysterious. They I, did a really good job of hiding whatever the story is in here, but it definitely feels... But there's bad guys. Yeah, it definitely feels gritty and violent and intense, like you were saying. The movie looks beautiful. The way I'm it's into shot. it. I always try to credit both the director and the DP with producing a beautiful film, because you never know who's really influencing the style more. It could be the director's like, I vaguely have this idea, and the DP's like, gotcha, boo. Yeah, yeah. And then creates this, you know, beautiful There's a lot imagery. of really, like cinematography is kind of like these shots you know that they're showing like her on the rock and like right. there's all these like beautiful random shots it looks amazing yeah but all of it looks so picturesque even though it's this very yeah. pretty you know dare i say scorsese like movie i uh, love these shots yeah it's very very cinematic yeah. And the color, the contrast, it pops in a very, very strong way. There's uh, a lot of eye. It, it's intense moments. color grading, but I like it. Like, I, I just, I really appreciate the look that they're going for here. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Every single shot just looks very, like, thought through. Right. Which is cool for an action movie, because over here, when you have an action director, I mean, is it fair to say that? Like, I think of things like Michael Bay or Taken, and it's just sort of, frenetic you know it's just crazy it's not really concerning itself michael bay is maybe i guess he concerns himself with like cool looking stuff but like it's not really stuff. it's not really cinematic though did it's, you see the last one he did which one the six underground one that i didn't finish good. it is that wait which one is that is that the one with uh ryan reynolds yeah i, I couldn't get through that movie <sighs> That, did it start off with a car chase? If it's the one I'm thinking of, I think it starts off with like a 20 yeah, minute car cool. chase. I could it's I couldn't get through it. I liked it was it. too much. So I my point it. being though is Michael Bay is more concerned with just just making stuff. I, he he tries to make explosions. And like, yeah, yeah and he like, tries to make bam, it cool and whatnot, like, but it's not sure. really cinema. It's not really cinema. No. It's not cinematic. This mm. is cinematic while having cool action. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, it does have those like shots, but 
Honestly, I still, I feel like they still do the, the slow-mo. They do the things. Who are you talking about? Michael Bay. <laughs> He has his moments, he has his shining moments, but like, I wouldn't look at that as like inspirational cinematography. It's just balls to the wall. Action. Yeah, insane, totally. Right? Whereas something like Scorsese, you're gonna find very, very cool cinematography. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the French guy's name who did, who did Arrival and he did uh, Blade Runner 2049. You're gonna find very yeah. inspiring cinematography there. Sicario That's is another film he did, right? definitely a different type. Um, Christopher Nolan's the closest thing we'll get in terms of both someone who does action and produces beautiful cinema. His films are more of a spectacle. Here, it's, this is a, 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 a story about gangsters as far as I can tell. That's the closest thing I can think of is like gangsters. That's what it looks like to me is these guys who, who don't play by the rules of the law. They play by their own set of rules and they're out to get each other. Um, and in the midst of, in the middle, in the throes of all of it, in the middle of all of it are, are these beautiful women who were sucked in by the <laughs> gravitational of, force of these guys. Like twirling and... I but, love that. It seems really cool to me. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe, I love it. But of course, this is the trailer. Who knows what the actual movie is going to, you know, look like. I mean, if this is indicative of what the film is going to be, I'm excited. I think like, it looks amazing. Even even this shot of the, the this very simple shot, like on the boat. Yeah, that's so interesting. Like, it's just like the color and everything is very vibrant. Mm. Um, like I said, they did an intense, uh, they, they did an intense job on the color grading here, but I think it looks great. Mm -hmm. um, this shot right here, whatever's going on, maybe someone's being tortured or something inside mm -hmm. of a warehouse yeah, and or like something. Spinning. Yeah, spinning. Yeah, like, it's, it's very creative. Yeah, like, totally. I'm very, very into what they're doing here. Like there is a lot of slow motion. Yeah. And the only thing that I'm afraid of is during the action sequences is, is them doing too much ramping. I, I really think that ramping is overused in um, it just like it's just too much sometimes where it's fast slow fast slow it's like mm -hmm. okay you know we get it um, like let's let's just see the action mm -hmm. um, and so I'm hoping that it just feels visceral because what they're showing us here otherwise is a very gritty movie so yeah you know doing too much with the ramping it's just like I, I find it distracting. That's when it gets more cheesy, and that's when it gets more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's cheesy. It's just too stylistic for me. But like, yeah. even this guy, and this shot. This guy's interesting. He's like the thing with his shoulder. He's this guy. He's got a. I, I, I don't know how to articulate this very well, but he's interesting to look at. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a villain who's interesting to look at, and every single shot in this is great. I think it's. I think it's fantastic stuff, at least so far. So. Um, it's got my attention to say the least, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of there's it. There's just like a lot packed in. Sure. You know, like there's a lot of shots. Yeah. Uh, you guys, do let us know your feelings in the comments below. We'd love to hear your opinions about it. The trailer has been out for a little while, so uh, we're coming to this a little bit late. But uh, still would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Denise Poole. Peace out.